Alright, what's going on guys? Uh, today we'll be doing a tutorial on paint on that and the basics of texture packs. If you guys want to see more texture pack tutorials, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And if the support is insane, I will make more of these. Also, if you guys want this texture pack, it's down in the description below. This was previously uploaded on my channel, I think, yesterday. So please make sure to check it out. Let's go for 1000 likes on this video for more texture pack tutorials and I hope you guys enjoy watching the video. Alright boys, we're gonna start off with the basics on how to make a texture pack. First off, I'm gonna explain how it works with like all the files and etc. So right here with the pack.png file, this is the file that you can see when you scroll through your resource pack list. Over here with the pack.mc meta file, which is the file that uh, like does the description. And over here with the assets file. When you go into the assets file, there's all the other files. When you go into Minecraft, there's textures, font, and MC Patcher. MC Patcher is where your custom sky and your color map is, so you can make it dark and like light in game. You can also make it so it has like full bright. When you go into textures, that's where all your important files are. So blocks, here are all your blocks, faithful blocks. Uh, here's the items, here's all the items for the pack, particle, um, here's the armor. There's also some pretty useless stuff that no one really like uses or edits or does stuff with and just leaves it as default with most texture packs. There's entity that's pretty much like this is all just fade for entities. Uh, it's like, for example, uh, mobs and stuff like that. Then we have environment. This is also mostly left default. Uh, not everyone does it, but most of the people do it. Here we have font. This is the font that you will see in game. It pretty much makes the, the chat look nicer sometimes. It depends what font you use. Over here we have map, no one really changes this. Uh, with misc, this is your enchantment glow that you see in game over your armor and sword and stuff. Over here with the shadow file, this basically changes the way your shadow looks in game. I can show you guys an example here. If I change this to like a square, it will change and stuff like that. Alright, so over here we have the models, which is basically the armor. Armor consists of two files, it's a diamond layer 1 and diamond layer 2. This goes for the gold, iron and everything as well. So let's open the diamond 1 and the diamond 2 layer. As you can see, it's two different files. So you gotta texture the, the diamond armor layer 1 the same way as the layer 2, because these are the leggings. And these are like the boots, chest plate, the upper part and the helmet. Alright, so moving on to the particles, this is footprint, this is mostly left default, uh, over here with the particles, the particles, these are the, the hit particles and these are the crit particles, over here with the, the raw particle, this is used for in game uh, when you like throw out your rod. Over here we have the particle that when you jump into water it like shows this particle. Here's the rain particle so when, when the rain falls on the ground you can see this. Here's the smoke particles which comes from like fire and stuff. Over here we have the particles for your fire res and your speed and stuff. Over here we have the, the health pod so when you throw down your health pod this will show. And these are for your debuffs, for your slowness and poison and everything. Alright, so moving on to the GUI, this is where all the important stuff is like your uh, container, like the inventory, um, the widgets, icons and stuff like that. Starting off with the container, this is where the creative inventory is as you can see and um, uh, the beacon, anvil, furnace, stuff like that. This is your inventory itself and as you can see in this pack, it's mostly left like, um, what is it called, transparent. So it's like really easy to use in game and when you PvP and stuff. Moving on to the title screen, this is what you will see when you uh, get to the title screen. So as you can see, this is the background for it. Moving on to the Minecraft file, this is the, the title screen header, I guess you could say. Alright, so over here with the icons, the icons is for your crosshair, uh, for, the, for the armor bars, for the hearts. This is for the golden apples, the hearts. This is for like poison and stuff. Uh, over here with the experience bar moving on over here we have the uh what is it called like the ping so you can see how much ping you have in game and it goes up to five bars all right so now that you guys know the basics on how to make a texture pack and where the files are located i will show you guys how i make a diamond sword all right so i make my texture packs using uh paint on that some people use photoshop and stuff like that but i like to use paint on that it's a pretty easy program to learn uh you guys could easily learn how to make a texture pack yourself if you really practice a lot with the program. Sorry that my pen and I is in Dutch. Um, I'm from the Netherlands and when I change the language it will change the order because it's sorted by alphabet. But let's get right into it. You're gonna hit Control R and we're gonna make a 3D2 by 3D2 canvas because we're gonna make a 3D2 diamond sword. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off from the bottom of the, the file and go up by like three on each side and then go over the top as well like that so now we're gonna go up by like six pixels so one two three four five six and i think we're gonna go up like one go to the like this go up 
go to the uh, let's go up one more and go to the side all right so what we're gonna do now is we have our bottom the handle and the top what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy create a new file Control alt delete and then we're gonna mirror it and then put it 90 degrees the other way oops select everything and paste it and the first thing I can already tell is that the handle is way too white so what we're gonna do is we're gonna crop it down to about there um, so in my opinion it's still a bit white but I will fix that later on maybe you can do this remove this and let's see what else we can fix right now we're gonna go down and go like this so now we have the handle done as you can see it's kind of white and kind of big but it really depends how you uh, make the sword right now so it will look good I mean the blade if that makes any sense um, handle might be a bit long but we'll see later on when we make the I mean when we finish the blade so right now we're gonna go up and make the blade go over here um, and texture it uh, I don't really like to texture low res blades because they kind of look boring in the way I make them but for this tutorial we just use blue and a darker blue and then use gradient to go from each side I mean from one side to the other side and we're gonna go up with a layer oops and we're gonna create an outline and the way I get it in a perfect line is I use shift so uh, if you guys want to have a, a straight line like a good straight line instead of like I don't know it's really hard to explain but if you shift it will go in a straight line so right now we're gonna go ahead and make this go ahead and make this a bit less bright I don't, I don't really like this normally but I'm gonna do it for this um, sort so what I like to do is I like to select the top part of the handle like everything and then deselect it remove this so right now we have the top of the handle selected and I'm gonna get a dark color which we already have and a brighter color we're gonna go up with the gradient I mean we're gonna go down from each side to the for with the gradient oops and you're go you're gonna want to hit shift for this one as well all right so now that's outlined you can choose whether you want to have it like fully black on the outline or you want to have it like less tra transparent you won't really see a difference in the file itself but you will see a difference in game i'm gonna put it at like 200 or like a bit higher like 220 ish and we're gonna hit ctrl shift f this will make it, all the layers go into each other and always what you want to do on the end uh, when the sword is finished you want to hit like the outside of the blade and delete everything so the texture isn't fucked up in like uh, 1.8 that's really important otherwise it won't look good in 1.8 and we're gonna make the bottom um, I'm gonna outline this as well with black uh, I don't know if I want to texture that let me see real quick right, we're gonna put this at like 225 make it dark and yeah right now we're gonna texture the bottom this way I'm gonna put this up texture it like this change this to like 220 and yeah I'm gonna select it all get white put it on transfer 5 transference C I mean uh, and then we're gonna put this on like 140 and we're gonna drag it from one side to the other side what this does it will create like a little fade and when you add a lot of contrast to it it will look even better uh, really depends what type of search you're making though, but we're gonna crop this down select this Go to Vignette And we're gonna add some Vignette to the bottom of the To the bottom of the blade so now that it's removed, I think this sort of looks fine and Let me see what, what else we can change. I think the handle looks a little bit too wide so we're gonna go ahead and crop that down to the other side move this go to this side all right so now i think everything looks fine uh i will show you guys the sword right now in game 
Alright, so after I editing this video, I kind of thought the handle looked a bit too up in game because when you change this in the file, it also changes it in game. Like if you put it all the way up here, it changes in game as well. So um, it used to be up like this, and now I'm putting it like this, so the handle is a bit more down in game when you're like holding it. Alright, so now I'm gonna show it in game. And Alright, so now that I'm in game, you can see the sword. I'm just using a random pack, which is Aphotic right now, so it will look a lot different, you know, than the other textures, but just don't look at it for now. Uh, this is how it looks in game. I really like it, it's like really nice to PvP and stuff. It reminds me of like an old dual sword, I guess. And uh, yeah, if you guys wanna see more uh, texture pack tutorials, please make sure to leave a like and I will uh, do it. I can make other. Uh, stuff as well like armor tutorials and everything so please make sure to leave a like and i'll uh, leave your suggestions down below and uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, peace out